Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and today we are looking at one of America's most notorious and haunted routes, Clinton Road. This infamous highway stretches approximately 10 miles and runs from Route 23 near Newfoundland to Upper Greenwood Lake in West Milford, New Jersey. Over the years, Clinton Road has not only been a location for sinister real-life crimes and a gathering spot for dangerous groups such as Satanists and the Ku Klux Klan, but has also built up a reputation for the paranormal through ghostly sightings and local folklore. One of the more chilling real life crimes that occurred along Clinton Road can be found when looking at the violent career of Mafia associate Richard Kuklinski, also known as the Iceman. This Mafia linked hitman would kill his victim then freeze their corpse so that he could cover up the time of death to complicate any potential investigation. One of these victims was discarded in the woods surrounding Clinton Road in May 1983. One of the more historic locations you can happen across when venturing down Clinton Road is Cross Castle. This creepy structure was built by Richard Cross in 1905. Unfortunately, some years later, a fire lay waste to the castle and it has remained in a state of ruin ever since. Because of this, the castle has become a curiosity for hikers and urban explorers to investigate. The sinister part of this is that these visitors have often gone on to tell about strange occurrences happening in and around the walls of Cross Castle, including people going into seizures, having disturbing visions and hallucinations, and even finding bruises all over their bodies upon returning home. There are four topics of conversation when it comes to the folklore surrounding Clinton Road. The first of these is known as Ghost Boy. Found at Dead Man's Curve, which is a sharp curve in the road leading to a bridge overlooking the river, Ghost Boy was, legend has it, a child who drowned while swimming beneath the bridge. People have said that placing a quarter in the middle of the road at midnight prompts the Ghost Boy to return it to you. Other locals say that the ghost will not physically appear, but will push visitors off the bridge at night if they venture too close to its edge. Secondly, we have the legend of the ghost truck. This is a mysterious truck that seems to appear directly behind people as they drive down Clinton Road at night. The truck's bright headlights blind the driver in front, and the truck picks up speed in an attempt to cause an accident by running the startled motorist off the road. Then, in the blink of an eye, the truck disappears once more. This terrifying story has happened to many who have taken a nighttime drive down this stretch of highway. There is a phantom truck that chases people out of the road in the middle of the night. It appears to come from nowhere. One moment, there's nobody behind you. The next moment, there's headlights in your rearview mirror. It drives erratically, it, it tailgates, it tries to force you off the road. Thirdly, we have the Druidic Temple, which is found to the east of the road, south of the reservoir. This small stone structure was a site where local druids performed their rituals, and people say terrible things would happen to those unlucky enough to stumble across this temple at the wrong time. Finally, we have accounts of strange and horrifying creatures that supposedly patrol the woods surrounding this haunted road. Monkey-like creatures, giant wolves, and unidentified beings have all been spotted in these woods at night. Locals say these creatures are said to have originated from a zoological attraction called Jungle Habitat, which closed back in 1976. The animals of this closed attraction escaped into the woods and crossbred, evolving into horrifying hybrids over the years since. One thing's for sure, it's probably not a good idea to take a trip down Clinton Road at night. And that's it for today's video guys, I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe for more horror related content, including theories, analysis and let's play videos, and I will see you on the next one.